Now, most cities in Colorado require residents to clear the snow off the sidewalks within a day of snowfall, but many of you have told us that does not always happen. Especially after our last big winter storm at the end of December. As Denver 7's Rob Harris shows us, some of our passionate neighbors jump in to pick up the slack when others fall short. For some reason, I get a little excited on these days. The mornings when it's the coldest and the snowiest out. I don't quite know why. Are the mornings that Brian Wilson is the most eager to get out before the sun and get to work. I got up like 430. I did a few a few crosswalks along uh, 12th in my neighborhood and then went over to 12th at uh, Colorado Boulevard. Now here at Colfax and Steel, if somebody wants to get across the street or from the opposite side, there is a curb cut here buried in all this snow. So that is what we are digging out right now. Wilson's passion for keeping our sidewalks and bike lanes clear is years in the making. It all started when he was a teacher and would drive into school on snowy mornings. I would just see this mess that students from other districts would just have to stand out in. Fast forward maybe a year, maybe two, I would see people get stuck in the snow uh, in their wheelchairs in my neighborhood. And so that just kind of lit the fire to just make it happen. The city of Denver does require property owners to shovel their walks within 24 hours of snowfall ending. If they don't, they'll get a written notice from city inspectors. And if they still haven't shoveled their walks 24 hours after that, they can face fines of 150 bucks. But having said that, those fines don't get issued very often. According to the city of Denver, inspectors have issued 2,065 notices to clear walks since December 23rd. Of those, only 45 received the $150 fine 24 hours later. That's just about 2%. I don't necessarily think we need fines. Um, I do like neighborhood inspections going by and providing notice and saying like, hey, this needs to happen. Wilson isn't issuing warnings or fines, and he's not making any money as he spends every snowy day biking around town to help out. But the thanks he gets from complete strangers are payment enough. Sometimes they'll tell me that you know, I will often slip through here or I have to walk on the street. Just that alone is enough to make me want to go to the next one. And then it just keeps happening all day long. <laughs> so and, until I get too tired to keep going. For Denver 7, I'll just keep going. I'm Rob Harris.